I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel A U Agri Organics. In this video, we will see what are the steps next to two fourth round counselling and what are the eligibility for participating in the mop up round and uh, some other doubt related to ICR PG counselling. Before going deep into this video, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give ICR counselling and agriculture education related videos in English. So you can share our channel with your friends also. It will be useful for them. for uh, icer and agriculture education activities and another one information here in the description of this video i have given the link of research scholars and icer group of our au agri organics so in this group every day we will discuss many informations related to research so here you can go through so like that we will discuss many informations related to research so for that you have to fill the google form that uh, what we have given in the description of this video here is the details that you need to be filled in this google form so in this google form we have asked many questions related to you so that is uh, which college you have studied where you got the seat now what is your rank everything all the information we will be receiving from this google forms so after this uh, we will add all of you to our research scholars group so that it will be very useful to you students from most universities of india are present in that uh, group so it will be very useful to you for discussing many research related activities so here if you log into your uh, dashboard if you have got seat allotment uh, so here you can see different uh, status so here there are different uh, principles uh, that uh, what we have explained in our uh, previous videos also so there is a uh, two chance uh, one is uh, fresh seat allotment in fourth round only okay this is first uh, so that one will be different uh, next is uh, you may have got a seat allotment in previous rounds maybe first round second round third round like that so you may have got seat so that seat you may not be satisfied so you may have given for upgradation so in that now fourth round came this is the last round you can leave that map up round but uh, as per uh, regular counseling this fourth round is the last round so that counseling may have entered in first round second round third round only but uh, as you have not freezed the seat so there was no freezing option until the upgradation okay so that is uh, many have asked me even since the first round up to fourth round many students didn't get upgradation even this id student also didn't get upgradation from first round to fourth round okay same college remains and uh, for them that the category alone it was changed in second round and third round fourth round also it did not change okay so uh, here the chance for freezing also came so you can freeze the seat that what you got seat allotment in that fourth round or if you have didn't get upgradation from first round to fourth round then you can retain the seat what you have got in your first round uh, counseling okay that uh, all you may know next that second option is uh, directly getting seat allotment in fourth round only so now what you have to do is uh, already you may have uploaded documents earlier but if you have not yet uploaded the documents there will be the page for uploading the documents so there you can upload the documents if you have already uploaded the documents you can leave that so that particular allotted university will verify the document okay after that if they have any queries they will ask the questions so you have to keep on checking the dashboard so recently one of our student uh, missed that um, verification so dashboard so now they rejected their their application in third round okay first round second round allotted colleges uh, they accepted but the third round uh, allotted college they asked some queries the student uh, did not uh, reply for that as they have not seen so they rejected that application so that and all you should consider okay so you have to upload the uh, documents if university asked any queries and then you can further proceed so after that there will be the option for fees payment okay seat acceptance fees payment okay after the seat acceptance fees payment there will be options for withdraw of the seat so that one you no need to do now then uh, another one thing is uh, accept or freeze so these two will be there you cannot go for upgradation third option so you cannot go for upgradation and another one chance is uh, you got uh, some college in this fourth round but you are not willing to take that uh, seat so that is uh, only in fourth round you have not got seat in first round second round third round like that but you got seat only in fourth round you are not willing to join in that particular university or college okay now what you have to do if you are uh, willing to participate in the mop up round then after the document verification by that particular university you have to leave that without pay, paying 10000 rupees seat acceptance fees this is what 
it was mentioned in icer information bulletin in the eligibility of mapo prompt in the seventh point okay the seventh point they mentioned it clearly okay you can go through that point so if you are failing to pay the seat acceptance fees then you are eligible to participate in the mapo prompt so like that you can participate in the mapo prompt that is one thing so these are the different options that are available for the candidates those who got seat allotment in mapo prompt sorry in fourth round okay if you want to participate in the mapo prompt only the candidates who did not got seat allotment in any of the rounds okay any of the rounds they are only eligible to participate in the mapo prompt okay then if the candidates uh, they got a seat allotment but if they have kept for upgradation even though the college is not upgraded then also students are not eligible to participate in the mapo prompt these things you have to be very clear so if you want to upgrade the seat you cannot upgrade the seat so you can lock the seat that is uh, one option so that one you have to take care that is your decision guys i am too busy in my thesis work and uh, i am not sleeping or not getting good sleep for last two weeks so you may have watched in our previous videos also so i am but uh, i am uploading this video the to this video is too late because uh, i am i am busy and i was busy so just uh, if there will be some blabberings uh, uh, like that i will be speaking in that sleepy mode only so as you need information as many requested me to upload this video i am uploading if there is any grammatical mistakes please forgive it so another one information that is from my side if you are not willing to take that particular university but just you are keeping it is for a support so you don't keep for that if you are not willing to join in that particular university then you can withdraw the seat now only after this round you may not able to get that 10000 rupees seat acceptance fees that is one thing then another thing is if you are cancelling the seat now okay if you are withdrawing the seat now then that seat will be considered for mop up round to some other candidate okay that one you have to remember but if you are not cancelling the seat then that will not be counted for mop up round that seat will not be vacant for mop up round then you will also not join in that particular seat another student also will not get opportunity to join in that particular seat okay so you are also wasting the opportunity and are also you are also making another one student to waste that opportunity okay these things you have to be very careful so if you are not interested to join in that particular college or particular university or particular course then you have to withdraw the seat now only so that everyone will be benefited otherwise you are uh, wasting the opportunity of you and uh, other students also that one you have to take care here is the schedule for fourth round so it started on today from 11 am onwards so the, the document uploading verification everything will start by today only and uh, end of the online document uploading by the candidate it will be entered by tomorrow only so tomorrow before 11 59 pm if you have not yet uploaded any documents you can upload the documents and the university will complete online verification by 6 pm of 23rd okay and the resubmission of the document you should uh, resubmit the document if they ask any documents you have to submit it within 2 pm of 24th okay thursday that one you have to take care and the end of the verification are resubmitted uh, documents okay that university will verify the document that resubmitted by si before 6 pm and within 11 59 pm you have to pay the seat acceptance fees okay of the same date so you have to take care of all these things so this is also very important but if you are going to participate in the mop up round then you no need to pay but before that you check the eligibility criteria that we also uploaded uh, eligibility criteria for mop up round so and you can also go through that information bulletin so that is very very important and the next you will be having doubt next what to do after uh, this fourth round uh, seat allotment and document verification now if you have got upgradation through this fourth round now that a particular university may verify the documents that as i mentioned already so if you are having any doubts you can watch our previous videos also so here uh, you can see that there will be the options uh, such as this register for seat allocation and uh, preview form like that and all but a uh, register for seat allocation will not be opened here but in the preview form if you click on this preview form there you can see the particular college and university where it has been allotted round 1 2 3 like that if it is allotted in fourth round there you can see the fourth round and another one important information you click on this allotment letter and you download that allotment letter that the allotment letter is very very important if you miss now you cannot download it again already one ug student messaged me they missed the allotment letter now that portal is not opening yes it will not open so you have to download that document and keep very safe and uh, that application from hall ticket uh, 
then everything you keep safe so that uh, it is needed at the time of physical reporting and another thing is uh, this admission letter so that particular university will give the provisional admission letter for the student already they have given so this is that provisional admission letter so this is also very very important next is seat acceptance or free admission so now i will tell this is the important for you so already uh, for example this candidate they have got seat allotment in first round only they did not get upgradation up to fourth round okay the same seat remains okay earlier in the second third round there was no option for uh, freezing the seat but this option now came in this fourth round okay here are the two options one is accept or freeze admission next is cancel or withdraw admission okay as this student is satisfied in this uh, acceptance so they should go for this accept or seat a uh, free admission but if they are not interested to join in this particular university then they can go for cancel or withdraw admission okay either of these two if you want to do you do now only so if you don't uh, keep this and uh, you don't waste the opportunity of another